Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today it's really cool because I have an experiment to do. I have my gear bot right here and I'm going to do a strength test experiment. I have five things that I'm going to see if this thing can lift and you are get a chance to vote and tell me if you think it's going to be able to carry or lift these five things. So if you want to see the experiment and your chance to vote, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you the link to the instructions for this gear bot. This thing is so cool. It's actually a gear bot slash speed bot because if you can see the gears right here, right there, they're interchangeable. So right now it's a gear bot because this small gear is coming out of the motor and it's basically rotating this bigger gear. If I swap it, if I put this big gear right here where the small one is and just swap spaces, this thing is super fast. But this video today is all about the gear bot and torque and strength. So what I'm going to do is show you the five things that I'm going to try to lift with this gear bot and you get a chance to say yes, no, and see if you're right. So first what I want to do is show you the five things that I'm going to attempt to lift with this gear bot and you get a chance to put into the comments section down below whether you think each item is a yes, no, and you'll see at the end whether you're right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the five things. Okay, so here are the five things I'm going to attempt to lift with this gear bot today. So here's the first one. If you guys remember that video I did about the motorcycle, so this is going to be the first item I'm going to try to lift with the gear bot, this motorcycle. The second one is going to be this cup that has two large motors inside of it. Will I be able to lift this cup with two large motors? The next thing I'm going to try to do is lift two expansion tires and two regular EV3 tires. Will it be able to lift all four tires? The next thing I'm going to try to lift is three bags of four ball bearings and the caster. So there's one bag, there's a second bag, and there's a third bag. So I'm going to put all of those inside one big bag and see if I can lift the whole bag. And then lastly, Will the gear bot be able to lift this EV3 brick? I, I built this here so the string can go around it. So you guys should be now get ready to vote. So what you can do is put motorcycle, yes or no. Two large motors, yes or no. Four tires, two expansion and two regular EV3 tires. So tires, yes or no three bags of four ball bearings and their casters, yes or no. And lastly, the EV3 brick, yes or no. So what I have today is I have the gear bot. I have fastened this string here. And what I'm going to do is attach this string to each of these items. I'm going to thread the string through this 15 hole beam. I'm going to put the item on the floor and technically today if it just lifts it off the ground it's going to be considered a success. Even if it's half an inch, even if it's a, a foot, doesn't matter if it comes off the ground and this robot can still stay the way it is. So today what we're going to do is we're going to say if this robot somehow lifts off the ground um, we're going to consider that a no. So, but if the robot can stay level and still be able to pull it, that's going to be a yes. But if it comes off the off the table at any way, this ball bearing comes off, that is going to be a no. But if it can lift it before it would come off, then that would be a yes. Okay, so everybody, get your votes in because we're ready to lift these things.
Okay, if you're wondering about the program, I just have a forward. Now, the reason why it's forward when this robot's actually going to be going backwards is because the gears will op make it opposite. So this is actually going to go backwards. Um, for those of you that don't know about the GearBot, this thing actually does better when it goes backwards than if it was going to go forwards. So I have it going backwards for 20 seconds. And that should be plenty of time for us to figure out whether it can lift this item or not. So I have the motorcycle hooked up. This gearbot's ready. So again, all we're going to do is make sure that this thing gets off the ground. If it does, it was a success and we'll move on to the next item. So let's go ahead and check this out. And there we go. That thing's off the ground. And let's go ahead and check this motorcycle. Wow, look at that thing. That thing's way off the ground. So for those of you that said a yes on the motorcycle, ching, that is the first answer correct. Let's move on. Okay, the next items are the two expansion wheels, the EV3s. I had to take these uh, rims off just so I could thread it, the yarn through them better. But the gearbot is ready for the second item. Did you put yes for this or no? Will the GearBot be able to lift this? Let's find out. Okay, so the two expansion tires, the two EV3 tires with the rims are all hooked in and ready. GearBot is ready. Let's go ahead and test this out. So let's see if you guys are right. If you said yes or no, let's try it out. I'm going to stay with the gearbot here and we'll see if it really does pull it up. Okay, let's see if these tires are anywhere off the ground. They are off the ground. Very nice. So those of you that said yes to the tires, you are correct. Let's move on. Okay, no offense, but for those of you that got the motorcycle and the wheels right, eh, I'm not so sure how tough that was. Let's see if we can get this going a little tougher now. We have the cup with the two large motors. What did you guys say? Is it going to lift it or not? So let's go ahead and see. Gearbot, you ready? Looks ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if it can lift this cup of two large motors. Let me go ahead and follow this gearbot here. Ooh. I didn't see any struggle yet. And check that out. It lifted the cup with the two large motors. So right now, if you guessed yes on the motorcycle, the tires and the two large uh, motors, you're looking good. All right, let's see if we can get tougher. Let's go to the last two items. Okay, the bag of ball bearings is ready. Remember, there are 12 ball bearings in there and 12 casters. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if it feels heavier than the EV3 brick, but anything can happen, guys, so here we go. Gearbot's ready. Let's we'll see if this robot's struggling at all. Ooh, it's going sideways, but it did not. It didn't leave the table. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on. And let's go down here. That looks like it's off the ground. You know what? Let me go ahead and straighten this robot out. Let's try keeping it going. It definitely is spinning its wheels. Okay, so let me stop it. I'm not touching it, I'm not pulling on it. And you guys can be my judge here. And that is off the ground, everybody. I can fit my hand through that. The ball bearings was a success. Okay, so let's recap. The motorcycle was a success. The wheels, 
definitely lifted it up. The cup, definitely. This bag, we're going to consider that a success, even though it was a little sketchy, which is okay. And now we're set for the EB3 brick. So let's see if you guys can go five for five here. If you said that it was going to carry it, if it was going to not carry it, let's find out. Here we go. Let's see if it's gonna struggle at all. Okay, you can see how it's going sideways. Let's see what we got here. And that is off the ground, everybody. That's no doubt that's off the ground. That's spinning way off the ground. So it seems like those ball bearings were heavier than this brick was. Definitely lifted it higher and had an easier time with the brick than it did the ball bearings. So it seems like the ball bearings were just weighed more than this brick. So if you guys said yes on all five, fantastic job. Okay, guys, so there you have it. The Lego EV3 GearBot. Man, this guy is a beast. I mean, this thing can just pull so much weight. In fact, I'll leave you the link to a video when we were back in class we were trying to see what kind of incline this uh, gearbot could go up. And it was just amazing the incline that this gearbot was able to go up. So again, it's just gearing down with that large gray gear and the small one. If you um, look at the instructions, which again, I'll leave you the link in the description. Um, it has you using the black gear and then the black gear that's a little bigger than this one. But if you want the most power, definitely swap it to these gears right here. And then if you wanna make it a speed bot and switch these gears, this is definitely gonna go faster than if you use the black gears. So it's a really cool robot, definitely teaches um, students about torque and just being able to gear down to get that kind of power. And then if they flip the gears, they can definitely see that this thing is fast. So it teaches kids a lot about gears and it's just fun. So hopefully you were able to guess correct on all five, but if not, it was still fun to watch, wasn't it? Okay, guys, hopefully you're still having fun, staying safe. I am Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.